So I'm curious, April, what are some of the hard and soft skills that someone needs to develop in order to become a maintenance manager? I think once you hit the maintenance manager level, it's less about are you, you have mechanical and electrical aptitudes. I think it's somewhat assumed by that point that you, that you do. Higher level troubleshooting skills would be important. You know, there's a um, saying that mechanics who troubleshoot or, you know, technicians who troubleshoot and ones that just change parts and start the machine and see if it runs. <laughs> like, okay, that didn't work. Let's change these parts. Start. No, that didn't work. Change these parts. But when you get to the point where you're really troubleshooting and following a logical process to finding problems and where you can guide and coach your team through that, becoming process oriented on understanding all those different legs that make work happen is really big so that you can help out the mechanics and technicians faster because really they're your customer as a maintenance manager so you kind of understand your your customer and how to service them and then problem solving skills i would say would be humongous whether it's you're doing rcas and you're doing fish bones and breakdown analysis on a part really really being grounded in those in those skills on soft skills for a maintenance manager, I find it hard. Time management, communication skills. You're constantly talking to everybody from operators, the people on the floor, vendors. You've got to be able to communicate with them in a way that you can understand, but is also not, I don't know, um, talking down to them, you know. Organizational skills and follow up. Every day something new is coming up and have a methodical process about how you you manage your work. Sometimes when you're on the floor, you're firefighting and you're running around, you got the cape on like Superman. Like you don't really get to be Superman as a maintenance manager. You gotta be Clark Kent. <laughs> <laughs> I love the analogies here, <laughs> April. Um, but I mean, what, I, what I'm hearing is like, to be a, become a maintenance manager, it's about developing the skills to be able to teach and train 10 others. And when I hear you say process, it's not just process to create more hoops and hurdles for other people. It's process that people can follow a standardized format that all gets us to the same outcome, whether you know very little or you know a lot. 